grade 6 math number 1.1 exponents. An exponent is a number that tells us how many times to multiply a base number to itself. A base number is used as a repeated factor. The 3 is the base number, the little red 2 is an exponent, and what it means is 3 times 3. The little red 2 is telling the 3 how many times to multiply to itself. See? And then the 3 times 3 are the repeated factors. See? How to read and write exponents. If you see a 5 with a little 2 as an exponent, we say 5 squared. Or we say 5 to the second power. Or we can even say the second power of 5. It means 5 times 5, and it equals 25. If we saw a 5 with a little 3 above it, if you remember from 5th grade math, that means 5 cubed. 5 to the 3rd power, the 3rd power of 5. It means 5 times 5 times 5. It means 125, 125. Okay? Do you remember last year when we were doing cubes? We were doing cube units. And a unit cube had a length, a width, and a height. And we were doing length, width, and height. And we were multiplying like that. And we were putting, we were saying inches cubed or centimeters cubed. Do you remember that? That was at the end of last year. So yeah, that's cubed. Okay? That means there's three things that we're multiplying. See? Any number can be a base or a repeated factor. 2 times 2 times 2 can be... 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 could be 6 to the fourth power. Or 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Whoops, we're missing one. It should be times 10. Can be 10 to the fifth power. See? It's supposed to be ten, five of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's right. 10 to the fifth power. We can write equations that have exponents. If you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 2's, you have 2 to the 4th power, and then you've got two threes. so you've got 3 to the 2nd power. That's how you'd read it if there was a little 2. Remember, it's to the 2nd power, or squared. We could say 3 squared. But it saves energy in ink. Well, we don't use ink in math. We use graphite, right? Pencils are now made out of graphite, so your pencil appreciates you saving it. If we have three sevens, 7 times 7 times 7, we have 7 cubed or 7 to the 3rd power, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nines, 9 to the 5th power. See? And we use ordinal, ordinal numbers, uh, like you use for the grades in school. It's called ordinal. What that means is like 1st, 2nd, 3rd, those are ordinal numbers. And those are the numbers we use for the powers the first power to the second power to the third power to the fourth power to the fifth power, just like you would say first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, okay? If we have a five with a three up here, it's five to the third power. That means five times five times five, and we're multiplying it to two times two. We're multiplying it to four. So we would actually go like this, and we would solve the five to the third power and we would solve the 2 to the 2nd power, and then we would multiply them. Because we always do exponents first. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 2 times 2 is 4. And now we do 125 times 4. 4 hundreds is 400. And 4 25s is another 100. That's 500. See? Quite mental math. Okay, but... Be very, very careful, because 2 to the 3rd power does not equal 3 to the 2nd power. Mm-mm. They are not interchangeable. It's not like 2 times 3 or 3 times 2. It is not like that at all. 2 to the 3rd power means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. 3 to the 2nd power is 3 times 3. That's 9. So don't think that that is what you're supposed to multiply together. It's telling you how many times to multiply this to itself, okay? Powers of 10 are written as exponents. 10 to the third power means 10 times 10 times 10. And a real cool, tricky rule, 
whatever the exponent is on the 10, this works for powers of 10, it doesn't work for these guys. But if it's a power of 10, whatever the exponent is means you make a 1 and that many zeros. It works. It's very quick and cool. So if you see 10 to the 5th power, you write a 1 and 5 zeros. 10 to the 7th power, you write a 1 and 7 zeros. Okay? When the exponent is a 1, then it's just equal to the base. 5 to the 1st power is 5. 7 to the 1st power is 7. 10 to the 1st power is 10. 1 to the 1st power is 1. But beware of a 0 for an exponent. This doesn't mean it's 5 degrees outside. When you see it in algebra or in math, it could be a zero exponent. Zero exponents make any number equal 1. 5 to the 0 power equals 1, and 7 to the 0 power equals 1. 999,000 to the 0 power equals 1. It doesn't matter what the number is. It's going to equal 1 if it's got a zero exponent. And it's because of the zero exponent rule and I'm going to explain more of that when we start dividing fractions, okay? Now, have you ever heard someone say, it grew exponentially? Well, that means it multiplied to itself over and over. If this was like, I don't know, a virus or a bacteria, and it uh, grew exponentially, it was a 2, and then it became a 2 times 2. It became a 4. And then... It became a 4 times 2, which became an 8, and then an 8 times 2, which became a 16, and a 16 times 2, which became a 32. That's growing exponentially. It's multiplying by that number over and over and over again. So 2 to the 5th power is equal to 32. Isn't that cool? So it's a really neat way of writing a lot of multiplication in a quick, short way. Scientists like it because they don't need to write out a bunch of multiplication. They can just write 2 to the 4th power and get their point across in their notes and stuff. Figures a scientist would find an easy way to write big math, isn't it? So that's our little video on exponents, and I'll see you next video. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helped. Bye!